The question we're talking about here is essentially based on global warming, greenhouse gases, all that modern stuff which is happening right now. And the question we're going to read right now is explain how the emission of gases both naturally and through human activity can alter the surface temperature of the earth. So one thing that really jumps to my head when I look at this question right now is the fact that they're talking about naturally and through human activity. So let's make a mental note to talk about that first. But prior to that we have to really address the question which is alter the surface temperature of the earth. And we all know that the thing which causes the increase in temperature of the earth is the is global warming so let's write that down first so um, so it's called global warming and it's caused by greenhouse gases So if they're caused by greenhouse gases, then you, got, you can give example of greenhouse gases. The main one is carbon dioxide. However, there's also another couple as well that you should know about, which will give you a, an extra mark as well. So other include methane as well as nitrous oxide. So those are our two other examples. Aside from that, um, we should also uh, talk about um, that the fact that global warming has actually already occurred. It's not something which is new. It's just that the rate of global warming is increasing, is increasing at a greater rate uh, more recently due to the burning of fossil fuels, etc. So is a natural process that has occurred in the past. I think the key thing from here is that we've talked about the altering on the surface of the temperature of the earth, but now we have to talk about the mechanism of how it works. And finally, the third thing that we have to talk about is the natural and the human activity uh, which has contributed to the emission of these gases. Okay, so let's talk about that now. So, um, so what happens? So, short wave radiation, or so let's talk about let's talk about UV light. So, UV light enters the Earth's atmosphere, and then what this does is that it warms up the Earth. Warms up. No, actually it doesn't warm up the Earth. So the UV light um, enters the Earth's atmosphere. That's the first thing that happens. So it penetrates the atmosphere and it goes, uh, and then because it's a short, short uh, wave radiation, it um, enters the atmosphere and it, uh, later on it gets converted into long wave radiation. So um, infrared radiation is then emitted and then this is um, captured by greenhouse gases and what does that do? That warms up the surface of the earth. So that's the main mechanism as to how um, the greenhouse gases work. So if we quickly draw um, our lopsided um, globe here, then if we have um, our greenhouse gases in the top here, then initially we have UV light coming in like that. And then what happens is that when it bounces off like this, then um, when it bounces off like that, then you have the uh, the temperature of the earth increasing, increased temperature. Okay, so we've talked about the mechanism as well. The final thing is we can just make maybe make a brief mention about um, natural and human activities which encourage the emission of gases. So natural uh, mechanisms. So cows and other animals give off methane gas. 
Okay, first thing. Um, so that's a natural activity. And how about human activity? So burning of fossil fuels. Also gives off methane. Well, actually, not methane, it's more um, carbon dioxide. Anyway, the point is that uh, methane gas and CO2 are both greenhouse gases and they increase the temperature of the earth. So with this long question, we're expecting at least about eight points to get full marks. So let's count how many we've done. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So with these eleven different points, you know, hopefully we'll be able to get full marks for this particular question. There are plenty more YouTube videos for you to check out, just click on the links below. If you'd like to download the questions, as well as the answers, make sure to like us on Facebook first. And finally, if you'd like to find out how I got a 7 in high-level IB Biology, make sure to check out our website in the bottom right-hand corner. Thanks.